Black Renaissance Podcast presents a testimony by Muta Baraka as he speaks on the Muslim divide that Arab slaveholders have caused in Africa. Greetings again with the video. So, I will if people talk about the enslavement of Europeans. Sorry, the enslavement of Africans by Europeans. I will if people understand, at least not understand, but hear something that relate to how the British come here and the Spaniards come in the Caribbean here and take away. They take away from Africa and bring around here to them sugar cane and them cotton. But there is a part of slavery that is hardly spoken of. And it do have nothing to do with white people. It has something to do with the Arabs. The Arab slave trade. The Arab slave trade lasts longer than the white people slave trade. And we hardly hear about that. And maybe it's because of all the black people see themselves as Muslim. That's definitely true. Um, we all know that slavery been around way, way, way before the motherfucking um, colonizer came into Africa and all that. And, you know, unfortunately, the Arabs had put the yoke hold on, on Africa and all that prior to. So a lot of Africans kind of look at the religion as their race as opposed to their religion being their cultural kind of heritage you know what i mean before the europeans go there the arabs them take all of it because they must spread in them islamic religion and most of north africa get caught in that islamic religion to the point where you have africans now give up them africanness and most they talk about Islam. As a matter of fact, I will put these Africans call anybody who was like most Muslims infidels. Can you believe that? Infidels. That means if he's not Muslim, whether you're black or whatsoever, you're supposed to be dead. Yes. These Muslims bring death to their own people, to their own, you know, skin folk or whatever. You know what I mean? based on a religion that they was given in slavery from Arab conquerors, things of that nature. This is why Ethiopians still have the Star of David, I mean Zionist movements and stuff like that. Most Jamaicans, you know what I mean? Especially like Maroon Town Jamaicans and stuff like that. They 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 more Rastafari, Selassie. They more go towards the Old Testament Lion of Judah, Israel. Go back home. You know what I mean? That type of vibe and all that. You know what I mean? Like you know, like the Minister Farrakhan says. You know what I mean? That the the the, the black children of America are the true children of Israel and. You know, Muta Baraku, he ain't going to really, you know, outright say it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because that is a hot topic, but I'm going to say it. You feel me? You know, and this is no disrespect to, you know what I mean, our, our black Muslims and stuff like that. But, you know, to think of people that got that share the same skin color as you as an infidel because they don't share the same culture as you would be like me saying somebody, me being a, a product of hip-hop and saying somebody in rock and roll is my sworn enemy. Like, nah. Not not when a black man done created rock and roll. Not when a black man done created religion. You know what I mean? This, this, is, this is all our thing. You know what I mean? Like, God, God is a product of us. We, we the original man. We the original man that God spoke to and all that. You understand? We the we the we the we the twelve tribes and all that. So you can't you can't you can't get into that. And then not not only that, for you to be a part of a religion that that chastises you makes it even worse. You understand? Like 
a, a, a religion that, that, that basically enslaves you to some degree. You should be able to be a free thinker in all, in all aspects of the way. You know what I mean? Yeah.